All right, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. This is Brother Shamgar. As you can see, the lesson is titled, Building Righteous Habits. All right, this goes for Akim and Akwatim and the truth, you know, striving to live a righteous lifestyle, understand? Right? And striving to, you know, uh, to live a righteous lifestyle, you have to build righteous habits, you understand? Because coming out of the world, Right. As you shake that old man off. Right. You got some habits that you need to, you know, uh, get rid of, <clears throat> especially for you to be profitable in this truth. There's certain things that a, a man of the Lord or a woman of the Lord must do on a consistent basis. You understand? This is why we have to continue to fight our flesh, because our flesh will have us uh, continue, continue in the same ways in which, you know, held us back in the world. You know, <clears throat> different things that were pleasable to the flesh. You know, we constantly gave into those things. Now coming into the truth and being in the truth, right? This goes for somebody new or has been in the truth for a little while. You can always put on more righteous habits, right? And even if you find that you do some of these things, and which I'm going to mention, you can always do more of it. You understand? So the point is, I'm going to just get into the scripts. Uh, Ephesians 4 and 22, right? It says that you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, Right? The conversation, which means behavior, right, of the old man on which you were, right, which is corrupt according to deceitful lust. So that old man that you were, right, is corrupt according to the lust that you, uh, the deceitful lust, right, those lusts that led you astray, right, you know, uh, certain lusts that had you breaking the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God, Yahweh, right, uh, things that, you know, because <clears throat> you know wisdom doesn't dwell in a body that is subject unto sin, you understand? So those things will have you uh, go astray or go from the presence of the Most High. So this is why we have to adopt these uh, 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 new righteous habits, right? And we have to put on these new righteous habits, right, by, you know, uh, being renewed in the spirit of our mind. Let me get verse 23. And it says, be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that you put on the new man, which after the Most High is created in righteousness and true holiness. So different things that you can do, you got to pray. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is this is something that, you know, brothers and sisters should already know. But certain certain brothers and sisters and it's truth. You know what I mean? Certain people don't, you know, uh, they don't pray. They don't pray often. You should be praying every day. You understand? This should be habitual. As soon as I wake up, uh, I, I, I should I should pray or some 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 time in the morning. Right. You know, depending on what you got going on. Right. Try to at least uh, pray th three times a day. Right. That's what I strive for. Right. Sometimes I might do two. You know and I mean, and, and, and the Lord will have it where some days I do three. You understand? But I at least always try to do it in the morning and, and, and when I go to sleep. You understand? And then, you know, of course, you know, you, you know, uh, praying to the most high throughout the middle of your day or whatever. When you're going about, uh, you know, uh, going about whatever you got to do during that day, that counts as well, man. Right. So different things like praying, fasting. You know, feeding the flock. These are things that are new habits that you should be putting on that are created after that new man. You understand? Because the old man wasn't doing that. The old man didn't give a damn about feeding the flock. The old man didn't care about praying to the Most High. Only when he got in trouble, right? So we should be we we should be you know uh, constantly giving thanks to the uh, to the Heavenly Father, right? Building those habits that, you know, when good things happen to you, you give thanks to the Heavenly Father. You know, when bad things happen to you, you know, hey, let's still give thanks to the Heavenly Father. You understand? Just like Job did. He, he, gave, he gave the most high praise when he still went through what he went through. You understand? So the point is, right, we have to be building these habits, right? Uh, what did I say? Prayer, fasting, fasting, man. Fasting is very important. It'll help you cast out demons, right? So let me keep going, right? Verse 25, these are some of the habits you got to put away uh, that were, uh, uh, according to that old man, those deceitful lusts, right, that kept you away from the Most High. Verse 25, wherefore, put away lying, speaking, speak every, slack it, speak every man truth with his neighbor. So you got to deal righteously with your brothers, man. You got to tell them the truth. Don't be fraud, fraud one to another. Just keep it a buck. Keep it a hundred. Like, you know how we say, you know what I'm saying? You know how Jake, Jake say, keep it a hundred, bro, right? For we are members uh, one of another, right? So we got to learn how to not lie, but 
Speak the truth, because you know Jake always capping. Jake is known for capping, bro. Finessing, trying to try and get over. We 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 gotta we gotta to a certain extent, you know, you know, we gonna have that that certain type of you know yikwab spirit on us, right? Sir Planter spirit on us, but it's a way to be righteous with it, and it's a way to just be straight up wicked with it. You see what I'm saying? Now you could finesse a situation having that yike uh, spirit on you to actually, you know, help benefit you in this truth. Let's say, you know, you you know, you finesse, you know how Jake Jake be scamming or whatever. Not scamming in a sense where, all right, yeah, I'm gonna finesse the system so I can get this unemployment or whatever, da 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 da. So now I ain't gotta I ain't gotta slave too much. Now I can do yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or these PPP loan, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know how Jake get down, but when you using that 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 finessing or that lying spirit to go ahead and finesse your brother out of some some money, that's corny, man. You understand? Or different things like that. So we gotta put those those old habits away, man. Right? Bucking up against your brother, trying to fight your fight your own brother, things like that. We have to put those things away. Being angry with niggas for no reason, right? So it says verse twenty six: Be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. So. We have to have that 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 uh new habit where we actually go to our brothers and we got a problem. We gotta build that habit, right? Cause a lot a lot of us we, we've been raised not to talk about our problems or you know what we feel. Not being on no emotional tip, but if a brother offended you, you'll go to that bro. Right? Or if you know you did a brother wrong, go to that brother. You know what I'm saying? So that's the point, man. You understand? So we have to, we have to, you know, be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and and, and a way to do that is to put on these righteous habits, man. You understand? And put off those unrighteous ones that was uh, uh corrupt according to the your deceitful lust, right? So you, you don't want to go away, always walking around with a chip on your shoulder. You understand? Now I understand Babylon done did uh done did us dirty, Esau done did us dirty, these these other nations done oppressed us, right? But at the end of the day. You don't want to have that type of spirit on you all the time. It's just going to get you to think negative. You understand? Or, or or that type of evil eye type spirit towards your brother. You don't want to have that anymore. So you got to put that off. That was a habit. You walked around, you know, grilling everybody. Don't don't do that. You understand? You got you got to put some of that stuff off. You got to put that stuff off, right? It says need to give place to the devil, right? Let him that stole steal no more, right? But rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good that he may uh, have to give to him that need of, right? So the point is, right? So if you was a if you was a thief in the world, put that away, man. That was an old habit that you had. You was a cleft though, right? You can't be doing that no more, right? Then we understand that you know, you know, this is talking about uh, <clears throat> to your own brother, to, to to the people of your nation, right? Now if it goes to like. Uh, these heathens, then you know, free game as long as you don't you don't you don't get snagged up. But the point is, you don't want to be stealing from your brother, right? You go over your brother's career, he leave twenty dollars on the table, he come back, you know, all like everybody, and then all, all of a sudden everybody just say, Oh, yo, we out, bro. And then and then, you know what I mean? And then he turned back around, that twenty dollars gone. He, he don't know who took it. That's corny. You understand? Or 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 you take something out of his room, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, uh he don't find out till a week later. And then, you know, and then you, 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 you rocking it or whatever. That's corny. You know, you have to put these old habits away. You have to kill that old man, right? You have to destroy him. You have to let him go. And one way to do that is to put on the righteous, right? <clears throat> and, and, and put off that unrighteousness. You understand? Uh, let me just skip down. Right? So it's verse 31. Let all bitterness and wrath... And anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. So, Jake, we, we like we we bitter from this world a lot, you know. Jake got a, Jake 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 often walks around with a chip on his shoulder, and then you can't do that in this truth. Now I understand that <clears throat> a, a, a wise man he, he he barely smiles. I understand that. Now I'm not saying that no pressure to make of a wise man mad. I understand that as well, right? We all we all feeling that, but to walk around constantly. Just being angry and just just being in a uh 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 a, 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 a not like like a not sluggish but more so uh depressing spirit just you you just mad all the time it's just like damn bro nobody want to be around you you understand 
So that's the point. You know, we have to let that bitterness go. Right. We have to let that wrath, that anger and clamor and evil speaking, just being mad at niggas for no reason. Nigga ain't do nothing to you but say, yo, what's up? Shalom. Good morning. Huh? Right. And you just mad. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You just give him a grunt. Nah, bro. You have to. You, we have to put on these new righteous habits, man. Right. Because we're, we, we, we become new, cre new creations, man, new creatures. Right, we, we have a new spirit on us, man, the new man on us. Right? We've been renewed in the spirit of our mind. Right? So we have to put these new these these new habits into uh into effect, man. Right? And another habit, right, to be gaining wisdom, right? Now, how do you gain wisdom, man? Now, if you if you constantly working all the time, right, you're not gonna be able to gain that wisdom, right? Because that's a part of putting that new man on, right? Because when you when you gain that wisdom, it's gonna it's gonna cause you to change, right? Because the beginning of wisdom, right? Matter of fact, let me just grab that. Psalms. Psalms one eleven and ten. It says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments, his praise endure forever. So the point is, right? You wanna you wanna fear the Lord. And what is the fear of the Lord? Right. That's keeping his law, statutes and commandments. So, right. In order for you to <clears throat> gain that wisdom. Right. You have to be putting on that, that, that new man, which fears the most high, which you keep his law, statutes and commandments to the best, of, uh, 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 to the best of your ability. You understand? And in, in, in this captivity. Right. So let me read to you. Uh, Sirach chapter 38, verse 24. So you have to want to gain that wisdom and then you have to put forth the effort to actually gain. That could be a habit, right? Whereas though in the back in the world, you always wanted to gain some knowledge about some some wickedness, some evilness, right? How to how to make a how to make another come up. Well, now, you know, being in being in this truth, you want to see how how do I come up on the spirit? Not in a wicked way, but more in it, more more, uh, more so now, you want to be like, "Damn, how do I gain more wisdom?" Now look at this. Check this out, right? So this is about all about your habits, right? Sirach chapter 38, verse 24. The wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. So in your leisure time, right, where you would do some old habits, maybe turn on a TV or maybe just, you know, start working or something like that, or you know, do a little project if you're if you're if you're a tradesman and you know you, you wanna, you know, do some extra work or whatever, whatever, right? Instead, in your leisure time, right? It says, the wisdom of the learned man cometh of opportunity of leisure. Go and read these scriptures, right? Open up the open up the scripture, read some books, watch some videos, right? These are things that, you know, like the, the reason, one of the reasons why I'm making this video is I feel like lately I've been watching a little bit too much TV. You understand? I, and and, and me, me seeing that, I got to cut that off. So when I come and make these videos, I'm, I'm never coming saying I'm, I'm perfect. Right. But I'm saying that these are things that we have to apply because we all in this flesh. So it's a constant battle day in and day out. So me recognizing that I'm saying, all right, bam, let me open up these scriptures. Let me meet. Let me read more scriptures. Right. So it says, and he that have a little business shall become wise. So you that you always got your hand in all these different things, all these different, you know, uh, hobbies. It's good to have a hobby, but your main hobby should be these uh, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding these scriptures, right? Uh, uh, things that will increase your wisdom, right? Increase your knowledge and understanding, right? So these are the things that you should that, that you should be doing. You should be trying to uh, obtain and acquire more wisdom, more knowledge, and more understanding of these uh, of these holy scriptures. So let me keep going. <clears throat> it says. How can he get wisdom that hold of the plow? A plow is like a, uh, I believe this is a farming utensil, but basically this is this is being referred to as like you working all the time. So how can you get wisdom that hold of the plow? If you always working, you always busy doing something else, right? How you going? How you going to take hold of wisdom? And that glory of in the uh, in the gold and the and, and drive of oxen, right? So this is all people that work and is occupied in their labors. And whose talk is of bullock. So meaning what you talk about, like you, you, what, what, you you're going to talk about all the time what, what, what you're actually doing. So if all you do is watch anime and and, and you know, uh, or, or all you do is work or 
what I'm saying? All you do is play the video game or, you know what I'm saying? All you do is talk to women all, 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 all day. You know what I'm saying? That's all your life is about. That's what you're going to talk about all the time. You understand? So if you're constantly in these scriptures, the scriptures are always going to constantly be on your mouth. You understand? <clears throat> let, me, uh, let me skip down to verse 33. It says, they shall not. So these particular people, right? It says, they shall not be sought for in public council, nor sit in a socket, nor sit high in the congregation. So if you want to be, you know, uh, sitting high in the congregation, you have to change your habits, man. Right. You have to want to obtain and acquire more wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Right. <clears throat> you have to you have to uh, uh, be wanting to live righteously. Right. So it says they shall not be sought for in public council, nor sit high in the congregation. They shall not. They shall like it. They shall not sit on the judge's seat, nor understand the sentence of judgment. They cannot declare justice and judgment. And they shall not be found where parables are spoken. Right. So this particular person who's always caught up in whatever it is that your hobbies are. Right. Now, like I said, there's nothing wrong with having a particular hobby like me. I like to box. Right. Or, 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 or do some type of martial art. Right. Now, does that consume me? Is that all I do? No, not at all. Right. If anything, I'm more in these scriptures than that. But that's just something I do. But I don't let it consume me. Right. Now, I'm going to get into that as well, right? But this particular thing is they won't be found when parables are spoken, right? So, meaning, why won't these particular people be found when parables are spoken? Because they don't know a damn thing, right? Because they use all their leisure time to what? Focus on whatever it is that they wanted to do that was pleasing to their flesh, right? Rather than in their leisure time, obtain wisdom by constantly reading, studying, Right? Because the scriptures, let me get this for you, right? Second Timothy chapter two, verse 15, right? It says, <clears throat> study to show thyself approved unto the most high, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the work of truth. How can you do that, right? If you if you always, you know, uh, participate in, in the things that are pleasing unto your flesh and your hobbies and all that. Now, not saying that, like, I, I got to keep reiterating this because Jake will hear this and be like, yo, well, we don't just supposed to read the scriptures all day. I'm not saying that. Most of the people in the truth don't even do that, right? But make sure throughout your day and your leisure time, when you get some leisure time, you're going through some scriptures, right? Try to at least read like three, four, uh, three or four chapters a day, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Whatever fits your spirit, Right? Because if you think about it like this, you do three chapters a day for 30 days, right? That's a month, right? Three chapters a day, that's 90 chapters. That's like, that's like, it's almost like three three books or, or a book and a half, depending on what book you're reading. You understand? So that's the point, man. Like, you know, little by little, you always want to be putting some time in for the Lord and your leisure time, man. <clears throat> so it says, study to show thyself approved. I said, God, how, how how are you going to do that if you don't got no leisure time? If you always caught up, so if you, you know if you if you're a cat that's always caught up at work, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, man, I'm always busy, bro. Da 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 da. You know, I ain't got time for that right now. Then hey, man, the you know at the end of the day, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna gain wisdom, right? Because like it says right here, let me get it again. Start right thirty eight and twenty four. It says the wisdom of a learned man coming from opportunity of leisure. So if you ain't got no opportunity to have no leisure time. Then you're not gonna gain no wisdom, uh, you know. Uh, uh, how did what's one of those slang words? Uh, point blank period. You see what I'm saying? That's the point. You're not gonna you're not gonna have no you're not gonna have no wisdom. And it says, and he that have little business shall become wise. So if you got if you one of those cats that you know you have little business, like all right, man, you know I ain't, you know I do what I do. I got my money. I pay my bills. I got, I got a little leftover. Cool. Some cats not cool with that. They want I got that extra, extra, you know what I'm saying? I got to get to the bag bag, you feel me? Like, yo, if you got enough of your, you know, for your bills, you got some extra to go ahead and take care of a couple of things, buy a couple of things that you need, you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Rock out, you feel me? Like, you you, you know, you, you don't want to be greedy, right? Because now you, you're using up all the time that, that the Most High gave you, and now you can't even gain no wisdom, Right? <clears throat> so you so you don't want to have too much business, right? 
<clears throat> to, to the point where it's stopping you from gaining wisdom, right? Not telling nobody to be no bum, right? You know, I'm not telling nobody that. I'm just saying to the point you don't want to have no, you don't want to have, be too busy for the Lord, essentially, right? And when I put it like that, every J should get it. You don't want to be too busy for the Lord now, right? So with, 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 with getting into things, so you could be having certain hobbies like me, like I gave you for, uh, like I gave the example for myself. I, I found that I was watching a little bit too much TV, right? So I want to get into that. And I noticed that on myself, so I was like, all right, bam, I had to correct that, right? So I got I to gotta fall back off that, you know what I'm saying, a little bit. And I got to uh, pick, you know, pick up, you know, reading more scriptures, right? Watching more videos and doing things like that. So I want to get 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12. <clears throat> now, let me ask you a question, right? Ask yourself, now, watching TV, is that unlawful? No, it's not unlawful, Right? But let me read, let me read to you this first Corinthians 6 and 12. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. So the point is that uh Brother Paul is trying to uh what he's what he's conveying is the fact that just because things are lawful, like all right, it may be lawful for you to go ahead and play the game or watch TV or you know, uh, you know, go out with you know, multiple all, all these different women, right? It may be lawful for you, but to do those things, but is it expedient? Because we just read, you know, <clears throat> uh, and, and Sirach 38 and 24, you know, you're going, you're going to gain wisdom if you got little business, right? And, and, and then you, you know, you studying to show you, uh, thyself approved in your leisure time, right? Because you can have little business and still waste your time by not studying in your leisure, right? By doing things that are lawful for you, but not expedient all the time, by letting your time be occupied in those things, Fully, you see what I'm saying? So now, you know, it's cool to dibble and dabble, you know, but don't let it take control of you to the point where this is what Paul is saying. He says, I will not be brought under the power of any. So I'm not going to let, you know, I'm not going to give myself, you know, too much to this or too much to that unless it's the scriptures. Right. And then even with that, you want to be balanced because you don't want to burn yourself out. Right. Because the race is not given to the swift. So you don't you don't got to be like, oh, let me read 20 chapters today, 20 chapters tomorrow. I'm going to read the whole Bible by the end of the month. No, that's unbalanced as hell. Right. Man, let me see. I think this is I think it's Proverbs 11. Yeah. So Proverbs 11 and one, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. A just weight is his delight. So, yeah, you want to be balanced, bro. Right. Now, it's cool. We're having certain hobbies, but you want to maintain having righteous hobbies, meaning or slacking our hobbies, righteous habits, right? So the righteous habits, like I said before, fasting, praying, you know, studying, reading, right? All these different things that 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 are beneficial and profitable for you as a man and uh man and uh man of the Lord, man in the truth. You understand? So let me get this for you. <clears throat> so yeah, like I said, like like the scripture said, you want to have a you want to have a just balance, man. Make sure you study here. Like I feel like personally. You reading like 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 a bro like a uh, elder brother done told me, man. At least try to read like you know three four scriptures a day. I mean uh, chapters a day, right? Depending on what book you read, right? Now if you reading the book of Maccabees, you can read like maybe like two chapters, three chapters. You know what I'm saying? That's a good job. They they long because they wrote long uh, uh books. Reading reading one chapter in uh, in, Mac, in the book of Maccabees is really like almost reading three three chapters, for for so you can go ahead and read like two a day. Almost by like the end of the month, you, you know, you'd be done first Maccabees and second Maccabees, right? But uh, what was I getting? Oh, yeah. So Revelation chapter one, verse three, right? So blesses he that readeth, they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. So blesses he that readeth. So you want to be reading, man. You want to be studying, right? Now you ain't got to blow through 20 chapters, right? Because I'm going to tell you what the, uh, what the elder brother done told me, man, right? Go ahead and break down, you know, those, those, those three three uh three chapters, but make sure you go in on those three chapters. Be looking at words or you know what I'm saying, you know, or or highlighting or trying to memorize some scriptures, some 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 uh uh some precepts out of those scriptures or something, right? You know, <clears throat> you shouldn't just be blowing through them. All right, if it take you five minutes to go ahead and you know read them, Jones, then it ain't really profit you nothing. You feel what I'm saying?
So you want to be looking at it and be like, oh, snaps. You Like, honestly, when you really reading something, you're going to keep stopping. You're going to be like, oh, snaps. And then you want to compare this to uh, another book or compare this to another thing and be like, oh, wow. Now the Most High is giving me understanding on this. Now this makes sense. You're going to keep stopping. And before long, you went a whole, like, it, 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 you, it took you a whole hour to get through three three chapters. You understand? So, but that's the point, man. Like, you know, you want to be building those righteous habits, man. Right? Like I said, I'm going to reiterate it again. Praying, fasting, studying, right? Doing the will of the uh, Heavenly Father. Feeding his flock, man. You want to be doing these particular things. So let me let me let me get this in uh in closing. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Right? It says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So Nothing that you do, man, is in vain. So this is why we should should should, should strive to have these righteous habits, those things in which I mentioned uh, 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 several times throughout the video, right? Because all those things that you do that are righteous, you know what I'm saying, you know, and if you're doing it with a sincere a sincere mind, man, sincere heart, right? The Lord, the Lord sees all that, right? And you got a reward for that. But watching TV all day, and this is this this goes for me as well. Right. Watching TV for a long, prolonged, crazy, prolonged period of time. Right. It ain't no it ain't no reward for that. You understand? So, you know, <clears throat> and we all in the flesh. We all make mistakes. You understand? I'm just being transparent with you. Right. So the fact of the matter is I recognize that. So I'm got I got I got to switch that up. I got to make more videos. Right. I got to pray more. Right. Not saying that I'm not doing these things at all because I am. But the fact is, I, I can do it more, right? So that's the point, man. We got to always be abounding in the work of the Lord. You understand? Right? Be unmovable. Always abounding, right? Because everything we do that's righteous for the Lord, it's not in vain, man. We got a reward for it. So with that, I hope you, uh, Akim and Akwathiam, were, uh, you know, exhorted, comforted, and edified, man, through the Spirit. So with that, I want to say, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shabarakatah. Shalom.